Hello YouTubers, I'm Parviz and this is our second video in Qt charts using Qt5 and C++. So in the previous video we have learned that we can create bar charts uh, like this. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you that, uh, how you can create a Q-line series or Q-line chart. So now let's get started. I'm going to create a new file or project, Qt widget application. And I'm going to give it, for example, line series, whatever you want. Uh, click on next and next. I'm going to use Q main window and finish. Okay, so now this is my project. Let me close the bar chart. So close project bar chart. Okay, now this is the line series uh, that uh, I have. Okay, so this is my header file and this is my source file. And in dot pro, I'm going to add the charts, so charts. Okay, so now after this, let me open my main window dot h and I need to add, uh, so the first thing I need a Q, uh, Qt charts. So Qt charts. Also, I need to add uh, a Q chart view. These are important. And at the end, we are going to use a Q line series like this. Okay. After this, I'm going to open my main window.cpp. Uh, the first thing I need, uh, I'm going to uh, create a Q line series. This is the constructor. So in the constructor, I'm going to create a Q line series. So uh, Q line series new Q line series okay so now I'm going to uh, append some data to my this series so let me just copy the data okay now uh, these are the data uh, I have append these data these points in here and after the so this data and these are my points so uh, let me just bring it in here Okay, you can see we have series Q.11.1 and uh, 13.3, uh, 17.6, 18.3, and also 22. So after adding this, uh, also before starting our main coding, let me just open my main window.ui. I need to add a horizontal layout in here and make morph this into a Q frame. And now let me make it bigger like this. And you can see that uh, the object name is horizontal frame. Now let me just open again my main window.cpp. So now uh, after this, uh, we need to create now a Q chart. So Q chart. new Q chart and uh, you can uh, let me just hide uh, the legend so you can simply write legend uh, height so height and now we need to add the series to our chart so add series and we are going to add chart so we are going to add so sorry we are this is series so we are going to add this the series to the chart uh, after this let me just use uh, uh, also uh, set a title so chart set title and for the title I'm going to give it line chart example <coughs> Now we need to create a Q chart view. So we need to add, we have created series, we have added series to the chart. And now we are going to create a chart view and we need to add our chart to the chart view. So Q chart view and chart view, new Q chart view. And now I can add chart view. 
and so I'm going to set the render hand to Q painter anti-aliasing <coughs> and now we need to set the parent so chart view uh, set parent UI horizontal frame so horizontal frame okay now let me just run this uh, so now you can see that this is our line chart also you can add uh, some for example let me first add uh, you can uh, create default axis so you can simply use chart and you can use create default axis okay now you can see we have uh, default axis uh, in here so I think my it's smaller let me make it bigger and now let me run it again so now you can see we have uh, the default axes uh, in here so okay so now let me just comment this uh, hide legend because I want to add legends now so you can simply use chart a legend and you can use a set visible and it's a boolean value make it true <coughs> also chart a legend a set alignment so set alignment now it is qt uh, align bottom okay so now let me just run this this time you will see legends for our chart so now you can see we have legends in here uh, thank you guys uh, if you have any question please let me know I will add source code to the video description and for the further videos please subscribe to my channel uh, like the video and also share the video